Hey everybody, Lunchpail back again. I'm back playing Diablo 3 today, and it's been a while. I've been grinding non-stop. And here we are. We got a high Paragon level. We're geared out. I'll go through slowly, but we can just hit pause if you need to. Uh, this one thing though that is new is the... The gem in this ring. Never seen it last season, so I've been using it. And if you see a drop in your rift runs, it's definitely worth using. All I'm doing, I'm trying to stack legendaries. So I can get that set bonus. And we do have a unique ability for flat depth. I like that spec. I'll use that spec with the ring, as you see there. And it's more of like still benefit, like. Uh, helping out our Corpse Lance spec. <laughs> I can't talk tonight, I can see that. Uh, I won't say too much. Well, besides, uh, for that Black Death, uh, yes, the sight. Uh, to get that poison for each ability, you need Bone Pillars. I don't have it for the mages, because I need those corpses when they die. Ricochet. For Corpse Lance. Kill Command for Command Skeletons. Command Golem. So that'll give me 500% damage increase. And Bone Armor. So, I mean, between Bone Armor and this buff here, and also my general cooldown reduction, we get pretty good, like, uh, second cast on stuff, so we can always keep that 500% damage buff going, as you'll see. So we're gonna hop right into a riff. I'm up to level 60, so we're almost cracked the top 100, I think. Take a look, 108. And we're still beating it with a great time. So we'll probably hop over, and we might even get Uh, yeah, let's go for top 100. So, they were playing 63. I'll go. Let's do it. Let's just. Or man, 14. It's worth, like, if you're comfortable playing at this point, it's worth playing harder levels. If you can control your damage input and much damage you take because it's just works that for paragon levels okay see we're starting to get buffed up now so here comes the damage got nephilim glory yeah you can almost kind of work off the corpse lances or the corpses that fall. I cannot from enemies, but yeah. I am gonna try and focus a little bit though, because one wrong mistake again we'll lose Susan forever, and all of this has been for nothing. I had to use a potion. Okay, we got channeling, so we'll stun right away. Rebuff. Here comes the damage. Ooh. See that? That was one hit. We almost just died. It's fun stuff. That's why you can't get in too close. Let's make sure we're buffed. Man. I didn't even see him on the screen. I must have a call. We need some health globes. I cannot do that. Feels just like Diablo 2. My essence is too low. Here we are. Give it more time. Yeah, notice her paragon levels are flying up now. I think that was two so far.
that needs to recharge. It feels like I can cast bone armor a lot with spec to it's probably that main hand weapon that's helping out, but it's been very lucky that we had that drop. Very lucky that it dropped. Because I don't think this spec would have worked that well without it. Yeah, I should say it would have worked well, but it's being benefited even more with it. Because we're able to keep our buffs up. Oh wow, we died. When did that happen? Get your head in the game. So we were saved by... Final Service. It's definitely worth specking into that, as you can see. Must have just been one shot by somebody. We still can play it safe. I mean, Final Service will be back in 20 seconds. We can hold them off and still progress. But if we get elites, we're gonna have to kite. I need essence. That is not possible. No. I understand so much more now. Okay, sorry about that. I was really focusing on that part of the game. I think there was two yellow elites there. Might have been why it was a little bit more difficult. Because it felt like they were shooting everything at me. No. And our final service is back up so we can kind of play it a little bit more loosely. That is not possible. Okay, we got lots of enemies here. We're gonna Make sure we put ourselves in a position where we can kite. Okay, we're, I don't even know where I am. I had really bad stomach pains there. Oh god. I'm gonna tough it out though. I cannot do that. Just had to make a quick trip away. Make sure you take that part out, editor. Four or three, we're doing really good. Okay, I'm getting a feel for it now. We got lots of elites, but we have the shield buff up. Which is gonna allow us just to just sit in the middle and spam. We're still doing really well. Okay, I like what I see. I'll get some lances. I'll rebuff. That resource cost redemption is gonna help for Paragon. We'll have to probably spec into that next. Because I do find it hard to keep command skeletons up. It's just not like we need to have those corpses all the time. Oh, oh. <laughs> Close one. It's half the part of this. Oh, we did die. So, mission critical here. I'm gonna go silent. Come on. Okay, great. Final service again. We're specking into, as you can see. I just suck tonight. We'll probably need to get our health pool bigger. That is not possible. Jeez, that was the one hit. We're gonna have to make sure final service is back up before we fight the final boss. So. Is at this rate, unless it's the poison boss, because they still have that necklace. Yes, this is totally endgame necklace. Uh, anyways, uh, 
Because poison damage is by far the worst damage to avoid. Hardest damage to avoid. Arcane does more damage, I think, but at least you can walk away from it and still do damage. Poison just follow you. That is not possible. Oh, that's gonna help get that buff. Okay, we'll rebuff ourselves. I can see him falling asleep at the wheel here. Oh, I would have died there. Okay. Who's our boss? She's got those bullets we just have to avoid. And just like that, that's tier 65. We got lots of gear. Let's take a look. I'll go back and check it out in town. It's a lot slower to uh, disenchant one at a time. We'll keep buffing this here. What's it called? Legacy of Dreams. So right now my plan is to... I'm going to level as far as I can with my gems until I feel I can't go any further. And then I'm going to start going to the Kiranai Cube and enchanting uh, stats into your gear with aug augmentation item. So yeah, you just need a lot of gems. They'll probably have to take some time to farm. Well, 361 to 367. It's worth it. So leaderboard, where are we at now? We're in tier 90, or rank 93, we cracked the top 100. Yeah, they don't know what they're doing. Not like us, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna hit even higher. Oh yes, we gotta clear out. Oh, I can never know, remember where the Book of Cain is. Take a look here, nope. Yeah. No real good gear. Get rid of it all. Just to stack materials. Come here. And right now I just want to try and get the legendary, ancient legendary version of this. That is too expensive. See, I got great luck. I'll try and upgrade it. You can't. Oh well, so yeah, we're in the top 100 Necromancers online for Diablo 3 Hardcore mode. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going. We're gonna get even higher, I promise. At this point, it's gonna be a lot more grinding than anything, but yeah, with how quickly those Paragon levels we got. That about like almost 12 levels in that run. We're going to stack our stats pretty quickly here. Yeah. So anyways, if you like what you see, please give me a thumb up on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon, I think it's below somewhere. And that really helped me out, I appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.